This is the 2020 Section C Genetics question, where in question 12a, part 1 says, what is meant by the term heredity? Different ways of describing this, but something along the lines of uh, transmission or passing on, so transmission of characteristics, or you could say genes, whatever one you want, characteristics from one generation to the next, or from one cell if you want, from one most people would say generation to the next. Okay, perfect. It then says, state Mendel's law of independent assortment. So state the second law. Now there's two parts to this and there are different ways of saying this by the way. But what we're gonna say is uh, each member, each member of one pair of alleles of one pair of alleles can combine with either member of another pair of alleles. Probably the most amount you'll catch me writing in biology ever, actually stating that law for Mendel. But again, there is another way of phrasing this. And if you did that, that's okay. Nine marks overall for this. Three marks for the first part. Six marks for the second, broken down into the two key points there. So nine marks for question 12a. This is the 2020 section C, question 12, genetic engineering question, part B. It's worth 27 marks and it says, the series of images below represents the four main stages of the DNA profiling technique invented by Sir Alec Jeffries in 1984. Wow. Part one, distinguish between DNA profiling and genetic screening. Okay, so let's just say what both of these things are is probably the easiest way. So DNA profiling, this is the way I would answer it here. DNA profiling uh, generates generates a pattern uh, a pattern from a DNA sample from DNA sample perfect uh, while the uh, genetic engineering or sorry the genetic screening even the genetic screening if you think of the word screening what the, what does that mean Okay, what, what does that go in your head? It basically shows the presence or absence of a gene. So it shows the presence or absence of a gene. Okay, perfect. Part two. Explain each of the stages one to four of DNA profiling shown above. Shown above. Perfect. So stage one. So if we look at it like this, stage one is the DNA is isolated. So a lot of people would just learn the words for this. So DNA is isolated. Stage two, the DNA is cut. Okay, perfect. Now if you said using restriction enzymes or whatever, that's fine. Stage three is the fragments are separated. Okay, so the fragments, i.e. the thing that you've just gotten when you cut the DNA, the fragments are separated. Uh, and then part four, part four is the pattern is analyzed or it's compared or examined. So I'm gonna just say pattern compared because usually that's what we do compared to something else. But if you said analyzed, that's fine. So there's, the, there's just the steps of the, of the DNA profiling. Part three, give any two applications of DNA profiling. So how, what do you use this for? Now there's, there's tons of examples. If you had some sort of uh, forensic example, uh, and that, that's what they have in the marking scheme, but that would just be some sort of crime scene. Okay, so that's fine. Or, and, then, or, and then some sort of medical example. So detection of a cancer gene or something like that, something simple. And you might have different examples of that, that's fine. And then part four, it says identical twi twins have the same DNA profile, explain why this is so. Okay, so you can just, you can say a few different things for this, but I'm gonna say come from same zygote. Okay, perfect. 
Now, in terms of marks going for this, 27 overall. Three marks for everything we've said here on the board. So for this part here, we've got three and three. For each one of these, uh, when we explain that three, 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 that brings us up to 18 marks. 21, 24, and 27. So overall here, 27 marks for question 12b. This is the 2020 section C genetics question. It's question 12C and question 12C is worth 24 marks overall. It says in Andalusian chickens, the allele for black feathers B exhibits incomplete dominance over the allele for white feathers, lowercase b, when a black homozygous rooster male is crossed with a white homozygous hen female all the newly hatched chicks will have an intermediate phenotype of speckled colour, capital B, lowercase b, known as blue. And then it says, part one, explain the terms underlined in the passage above. We probably underline those, passage, those terms if they had asked us to uh, explain them and actually had done it for us, because they help you answer the question. So the first thing that's underlined is the word allele. Okay, so what is an allele? Well, for an allele, it's a version of a gene Okay, a version of a gene or an alternate version of a uh, form of the same gene. Fine. Second one underlined is incomplete dominance. And that's actually very, uh, very handy for us later on in the question. Uh, this is when both alleles are expressed. Okay, so both alleles expressed. Usually that's when you get like a mix of some sort of thing here, like they've said here, they've called it blue. And then homozygous, okay, so homozygous. What, what does that mean? Well, what they say here is identical alleles are present. Uh, say same alleles, or same version of the same gene, or whatever way you want to phrase it, present. So that would be both capital or both lowercase. And the last one here is the phenotype which phenotype means how it physically looks. Uh, and that's what they're looking for here. They're looking for the physical expression of the gene. Okay, and any way of actually phrasing that is completely fine. Part two then says, determine all the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring of a cross between the following chickens. And what do we have? We've got a blue rooster, okay, a blue rooster, crossed with a blue hen. Okay, perfect. Now, what are we looking at here for the for the blue rooster? Okay, so all, all they've all they've asked for here is the genotypes and phenotypes. They haven't asked if they are uh, if they are male or female, so you don't actually have to put any uh, any of that stuff in there. Um, and then if we actually go to do the cross, the way that I do it is I use this Punnett square here. And I'm thinking, well, what is the blue rooster? Well, if you go back to the question itself, uh, it says speckle color, capital lowercase, known as blue. Okay, so that, that's, that's genuinely what it says there. So we have this is capital lowercase, and this is capital lowercase. Okay, so that's completely fine. Uh, and th then all we gotta do is cross them over. So if we cross them over, this can offer B, B, this can offer B or B. So what actually comes from this is a capital one, capital lowercase, capital lowercase or two lower cases. Uh, and then if we look at the ratio here of what's going on, the two capitals mean that there's one black. The two uh, mixed ones there mean that there's two, what they call again in this question, blue or speckled. And then the lowercase idea means that they're white. Okay, so and there's only one white there, so that's the, the the ratio idea going on, and that should answer that question. Part three says, what would be the effect on the offspring phenotype ratio in the genetic cross at two above if there was no incomplete dominance between the two alleles for feather color, and if black feather was the dominant trait and white feather was the recessive trait? So basically, what they're saying for part three is if there is no mix to color there, what would actually happen? What would, what would, be, uh, what, what would happen to the uh, things going on here? We'd still get the same genotype, perfect, but the phenotype would be different. 
this here and this here would be expressed physically as black. So what we would have there is three black and one white. Okay, actually turned out to be fairly straightforward, that question there, once you sunk your teeth into it, speckled and all, a little bit maybe confusing. But 24 marks overall going for it. Uh, how, how do we actually get these marks? Well, the first part here, straightforward, three, three, and three, brings us up to, uh, brings us up to nine. Uh, then the um, so th then after that, what we have is the the cross. So if you mentioned the gametes here or the genotypes here, that was three. The ratio is three, and what they actually look like was three as well. So that's fine. And then the ratio at the end was also three, which brings us up to a total there when we cross these over of twenty four marks.